And now for something completely different. Plotting, the Taito arcade game from 1989. First time I played this game was on one of those NES multi-cart things many moons ago, but that went by a different name called Flipple. Is that the original Japanese name? Who knows? And more importantly, who cares? Plotting has you controlling this mutant blob thing, and your goal is to clear a certain number of blocks until only a few are remaining on the playfield. When you start off each round, you have a wild card block which will knock off any block from the pile, but from there, you need to clear away blocks bearing the same icon as the block you possess, at which point another block of a differing icon will fly over to you and you repeat the process all over again until the quota is reached, at which point you move on to the next round. Whenever you run out of possible moves before meeting the quota, you lose a life and are forced to use up a wild card. Lose all your lives and it's game over. Of course, if you fail to meet the quota before time expires, you also fail. Plotting is one of those games where you really have to think your next move through, and that might take a bit of time, of which you only have a limited amount per stage. And it's also one of those games that takes full advantage of that risk versus reward mentality. Go for the big points, or take it nice and slow because one wrong move could potentially mess you up somewhere down the line. This is true in any game, of course, but it's even more so in plotting, which requires that kind of thinking power. But with plotting in particular, you really do have to think three or four moves ahead, because situations will arise where you think you're doing well, but eventually get to a point where no matter what you do, your next turn is going to be your last because you didn't plan ahead. You didn't take a block into consideration when planning your attack, or maybe you just didn't pay attention to possible trajectories and outcomes. There's quite a bit to consider when plotting your moves. But even so, plotting is fairly straightforward in its mechanics, in that you can figure out pretty much what you have to do without looking into any manuals or guides. And what you see is pretty much what you get with no real surprises to be had here, but at the same time, the challenge is present in that it might take a round or two to get a groove going. Control has you moving your blob thing up and down and shooting blocks, and though it feels somewhat constrained, it works well within the context of the game that it's fine. Plotting has a fairly straightforward presentation. Lots of brown blocks framing the playfield, but it's not intrusive and doesn't detract from the action. Your little brown blob thing is rather cute looking. Aw, oh, look at it bounce with joy. And the blocks are well defined enough to be distinguishable from each other. On occasion, backgrounds will change colors and patterns, but never to a point where they come off as noticeable or distracting. It just does. Nothing too flashy or colorful, but otherwise easy on the eyes. There's only one tune that plays during plotting, and while it does have the potential to be tiresome and monotonous, it does a good enough job of emitting something of an otherworldly feel to the whole thing. It's ominous, it's otherworldly, and it's pretty much the only tune that plays throughout the game. But it's a good tune, adds a bit of air tension to the proceedings. And it's the perfect musical composition to complement the adventures of a mutant blob thing shooting blocks at a pile of blocks. I'm sure that made sense somewhere out there but probably not here and now. On a whole, plotting's actually a pretty fun arcade puzzler. Simple to grasp, challenging to a point, but nonetheless a solid, well-made puzzle game. If you get a chance, give it a shot. It's available on the first Title Legends compilation for Xbox, PlayStation 2, and PC, or you could track down the Famicom version, which is almost similar, but a couple differences. And there's also that internet arcade thing that's on the internet archive. Overall, plotting's alright. No complaints.